and actually, I don't need to take a break because I can walk right over here and start talking to uh, Maria and see what she's doing. Hey, Maria, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hello there, Ian. Well, hi, how are you? We are going to make uh, a traditional regatta pie for Easter. Absolutely. And look at those fresh Easter, lemons. Uh, the oh. Lemons are huge, huge, huge with Italians. Um, uh, my family uh, from Parecas is from Naples. We're okay. Napolitan. And it's, it's more towards the south of Italy. And uh, citrus products are big, big, big. And well, we use I've got to tell you, when I every, was in Italy, I've never seen lemons big, big so big. Big lemons. Big. Big They're lemons. Like three times the size of me. And, and we, we use the whole lemon. We use the juice. We use the rind. We really use it all. And what they call lemon zest. The, the lemon zest. Now, for Easter, we're going to make this... Um, Right, um, this regatta pie. It's it's very simple if you know how to make it. It's a nice. It's uh, Easter is a time of rejuvenation and I rebirth, eggs, right? Eggs. And <laughs> and so it, this is a very. It's a very clean, um, a clean taste. Very very good. And I'm going to show you how to make a regatta now pie. Is, is this since it's it's this is a little bit on the sweet side. It's a little bit sweet. Yes. So it's. Not just like a, a, a cheese, you're eating but, cheese, right? Um, right, it's, 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 it would be a dessert, yeah. a dessert pie, but it's not super, super sweet like and a pecan pie. And it's not pie. real heavy either. It's a it very is light. It's not. It's, it's light, crisp, and clean. It's a very clean taste. I love this And, stuff. oh, believe me, we'll eat. We'll okay, eat good. here. Manja, so, manja. So <laughs> we're going to start off, and this recipe, I gave it to you for your website. Okay. It's also on the parekasbakery.com website. Okay. So you really don't have, if you want to write everything down, you could. Um, you really don't have now, to. Now, wait, wait. Before yes. you go any further, no. if somebody does not want to make it, do you sell these? We sell them every day until Easter okay. at, at, I um, just was wondering at, at Pareka's Bakery. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, we've got pizza gain, which is ham pie, rice pies, which is a, just a variation of what we're going to make today. Oh, I love the rice. And the regatta pie. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, we're going to start off with impastata. It's a drier form of regatta cheese. So if now, you strain, the, if you strain regatta in like a colander or in cheese sieve, sieve. in cheesecloth, um, you'll you'll come out with the same sort of consistency. But I'm going to cream this up a little bit with my egg beater, just a little bit. You can see how you know it is drier. It is drier. Yeah. It is drier. And the and reason then, for making it drier is so that you're, oh, you oh, you get a, a nice, oh, you get a nice firm pie. It's wonderful. And then I'm going to, I've got, whoa, I've got this old fashioned egg beater um, that is probably older than I am, but I really like it. <laughs> oh, so now you're going to put eggs And in. now I'm going to put five eggs in. Again, okay. this recipe is on the website. And you can start off with just a few eggs and moisten up your cheese. Do it gradually. Do it gradually. Get it nice and creamy. And then, you know what, if you want to leave off an egg, you can. I'm trying to shield you from the, okay. from the splatter. Let the cameraman get a little wet. <laughs> But look at how See, nice this is. Now, yeah. Oh, it's getting nice and that creamy. That was only three eggs. That was three. I'm going to add two more. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead My mother and always add, felt if I had an egg. She used to fun. say, if I can get an egg in my daughter, I know she's getting, she's oh, getting food. food. She's getting food. <laughs> eggs are good. Everybody loves eggs. And then, uh, you know, a little bit of sugar. Again, it's not the sweetest, you know, thing. Can you put any vanilla in there? You don't put vanilla? I'm going to put in real vanilla oh, extract. Oh, yeah. you got to get the real you stuff. you got to. Uh, you know. Don't your, get the imitation. Your ingredients matter. They really, really do matter. If you can find organic eggs, it does make a difference. It does. It really does. They have a richer flavor. Um, and also at... What's that? That's a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon, yum. And then what we do at Parekas oh, is nutmeg. we grind our own little bit of nutmeg because again it's fresh. it's a, it's fresh and it it's oh it, i can smell it, it oh makes, my gosh and you don't put a lot in no but well, it, it can makes, be overpowering if you get too oh, much oh it's a, yeah, it, it makes your ingredients matter <laughs> 
Now, we use Meyer lemon as well. Meyer lemons are a little bit more expensive, but the- Meyer, is that uh, a brand it's, it's or? A, it's, it's a, it's okay. a genre of lemon, yes. Okay. And um, they're, a li they're, well, not a little bit, they're a lot more fragrant and strong. Oh, I can smell it. You oh, know? I'm, I'm smelling the We're cinnamon, gonna put, the nutmeg, oh, and the lemon. A wonderful, wonderful flavors, wonderful flavors. Then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and then squeeze a little bit of juice in there yeah. too. And sometimes you do uh, it over your, uh, over. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. I oh, it's just so it? clean. Can you smell it? Oh my gosh. Clean and fresh. And we're, you know, we're going to, these, these flavors mix together so, so, so well. Oh. This is beautiful. Can you see the that? The consistency is wonderful. Are you getting that? Oh. Can you guys see it's it? It's beautiful. Yeah, he's, he's up on the ladder it there. It is beautiful. <laughs> oh, I just want to scoop it up and drink it. I know it. Oh, oh, oh. And you can smell Oh, the, it's the very wonderful, flagrant. wonderful flavors. Now you can see why this pie would be a celebratory pie because it does, it celebrates the flavors of springtime it for does. Easter. It's so, it smells so fresh. And it does. Now this is the consistency that you it's, want. Just a minute, keep talking. I'm just I'm, gonna help you here. I, I think that's, that's a great idea. <laughs> Now, I can't help myself, guys. Uh, isn't that isn't that beautiful? I know. Now I'm going to talk it. a little bit about pie crusts here. Now at Parekas, of course, we make pie crusts ad ad nauseum. That's all we do is make pie crusts. But you know what? At home, don't be afraid to go ahead and buy your pie crusts. Um, there are some wonderful. Uh, <laughs> alternatives on the market today. This one's raw. This one is partially partially baked. Oh really? And it's Can important. you buy partially baked? No, no, you 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 bake oh, it you yourself. Bake it yourself. Just I was gonna say, minutes, how do you get that? Just for a few minutes and then you're guaranteed that you're not going to get a, um, um, you know, a, a raw Soggy. Um, because this now do you, cooks. Now do you, you don't punch any holes in I, I was supposed to punch the holes with okay, a fork. I'm sorry, but I, I didn't, didn't mean to stick, but I didn't. stick my nose I in didn't. here. <laughs> now, um, you'll see this wonderful consistency. Now this it's is like, like it's just this is like, like a custard. A custard. I, and you want to cook this on a, a low, you know, a 300 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on, some ovens are, get hotter than others. But I do not cook this fast at all. It should never be, not when you have eggs, um, right? And you, you, you really want a nice golden color because I'll show you. You don't want it brown, you, yeah. Um, I'll show you, and then we're gonna we're gonna eat. We're gonna I'm, we're, we're gonna, gonna try, try it. Yeah, you guys are the recipients of some good stuff here. Uh huh. Let me just move my mess. I'm very good at making. We see you on TV on the big channels, and you mess. And they don't give you any time to really show and up. And we're here. gonna have we're gonna have time to eat. Yes. Eating on TV is sometimes challenging. Now, do you do you uh, when you when you do this, you don't put whipped cream on it, right? You could, you could, okay. or you could put um, creme fraiche okay. on it as well. And, oh boy, I'm so excited. These are really not hard to make, but I'm I know that at, at Easter time, sometimes you're so busy with well, other things. That's so. why I say either come to, you, know, you can always buy them at Parekas. Yeah. Um, you'll get what we made here. Um, and if you do decide to make it at home, don't be afraid to buy your crust. It's, it's, the, the pie crusts on the market today are very, very yeah, good. Yeah, I know. I'm such a purist. I think I'm going to have to change my attitude. Um, I could get into, well, you know what, uh, for Excuse a real, me, guys. I'm going to have some too. Now for a real pie crust, we can talk about oh. pie crust. You, um, you know, the Italians use, use lard instead of the butter. Yeah, I don't use lard. Um, and what you want to do, whether you use butter or lard, is you want to use lots of ice. Just keep it cold, cold, cold. That's the key. This is Isn't wonderful. Isn't this good? Okay, let's eat. Let's eat. This is real. It's Excuse like us. it's got the consistency of a cheesecake, but no, it's, it's a cleaner. Lighter. It's, it's a, lighter. yeah, it's lighter and cleaner. Mm. Oh, mm. I am I'm in, in hog heaven is what they call it because I had my tadal and I <laughs> the tadals. I know I've got my eye on. 
I've got my eye on those tadals. Um, but Do you make tadals? We make tadals at Parakas Bakery. We make uh, croutons with our bread. We make panettone for Easter, the traditional your Italian. Pot, that's your own. Um, that's ours. Um, that's very, very involved. I don't recommend that anybody try panettone and you know, at it's, home. It's almost like um, a, uh, uh, the uh, Jewish challah bread. It's, it's like challah bread. It's like babka bread. Yeah. It's a sweet, traditional. It's but wonderful. These tastes uh, are, taste like Easter. These are yeah. Easter. Now, a variation on the pie that we're eating now is a rice pie. The same thing, but as you would you would fold in just white rice to this. Cooked. Cooked rice. Absolutely. <laughs> cooked cook cooked rice. white rice. And then you get a rice pie. Which which you Do know we put citron in ours. Do you ever put citron in? I don't put citron in anything at, at Pareka's bakery because I don't like citron. Oh I love citron. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah, funny. It, it, but you I don't use like lemon, it. but you don't well, like I, we use a lemon zest. Um citron but cit what is citron? Because citron it's, it's is dried, nugget. dried candied fruit. Um, but I thought it was like a citrus fruit. A citrus fruit, yeah, absolutely, citrus, yeah. absolutely. Um, I never acquired a taste for it, oh, so, yeah, so you citrus. can't get it at Parekas. Okay. <laughs> I'm just enjoying it. Isn't this good? Isn't this good? If I do say so myself, it tastes like Easter. You know what? It you can say so yourself. And, <laughs> but this is my job. I am everybody's Italian grandma. It's, um, it's something that I accept. Um, it's a role that I play well because that, that's what I do. I learned all of this from my Italian yeah, grandma too, yeah. and it's my turn to pass on these traditions. It's a dying art, really. really you don't is. see family bakeries in every neighborhood anymore, and that's really a shame. So, Parekas has been around for 101 years. I, know, I went to your 100th party. Yes. Oh my and, God, what a party and, that uh, was. Dancing in the streets. Yes, we had a was. huge block party. Yeah. And um, uh, God willing, we'll be around for at least you know, 50, I might 60 make more you years. But you know. Yes, yeah, so maybe, maybe I'll miss it too. <laughs> But your so, family will. I, I want to ask you a quick yes. question. Do you ever make a spaghetti pie? Or do you know what I'm talking um, about? I do know what you're talking about. I've been no, trying but to find a recipe for that. I will. I will make a recipe for you. I will. Yeah, my grandmother used to make one, and I'd go to her house, and she'd go to the I cupboard. Get it out and cut me a piece. Oh, remember that? And I it's remember. It's kind of a sweet pie. It, and it's oh, I can I spaghetti. can remember that. You remember yes, that? yes, okay. I remember the spaghetti yeah, pie. Try that. <laughs> try. I everything. will dig it up, or, or or I will make it up if yeah. I can't dig it up. <laughs> well, I've tried to make it up, and it just hasn't quite <laughs> turned out. But I think. You I, are going to be able to I do think it. there were eggs involved yes, in her eggs. binding it all together. Yeah, and maybe lemon and, and cinnamon mm -hmm. and... I remember that. I don't remember cheese in it, but I'm wondering if maybe that was... See, I've tried to find the recipe, and if somebody out there has that recipe, please send it to me because it's so good. <laughs> but listen, I want to thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank and you. And showing us. everyone come to Parekas for your pies. And you know what? You've given me permission to buy pie crust. You know what? <laughs> you won't. You I'm know, such you a won't. purist. I want to roll it out, you know, and make it, get the ice and stuff, you know. And at Parkas, we've got a machine that, that yeah. helps us do that en masse. Um, but you know what? I'd rather have people try this at home with a store bought pie crust. Rather than, you can get a you got rather than not do it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, your family doesn't care about the crust. They yeah. want, they care that you made them a pie. That's awfully good. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm going to go right over here. We've got our next guest coming up. Mac, I think you're next. Why don't you grab your seat? And we're just going to walk over there. And I'm going to do, oh, by the way, we're going to be showing some of uh, Kitchen Jazz. I should mention that on Sundays you have jazz at we, the restaurant. We right? do have jazz every Sunday night um, at Mora Parekas, right next door to Parekas Bakery. Yep. Good. So anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to, and I'm taking my cake with me here. 